a lot of my tools I in fact use for crushing mortar and pestle just as many tools were used over the ages whether bound by sinew to make drilling, tapping, staking for very nice. A lot of these have perfect handholds, exactly. And some of them, as I've shown, have traces on the bottom that could be residual crust or it could be residual tissue uh, or biological soils from what was used over the ages. I use them all the time. And I think it would be very interesting to find out and do research because I know that uh, through folklore and mythology and uh, just basically passed down information and storytelling, which was the way uh, information was shared in the ancient days, star rocks were known to be the hardest, just like the metal was used to make swords and horseshoes and the most important people only would have the star rocks uh, for the protection for the elements and the extra hard uh, was used and collected how interesting would it be as these would, could be laying on any planet in the eras of massive asteroid impacts that ejected these pieces or any rocks for that matter into space where they floated around in four millions of years before making the way into Earth's trajectory. How many of these? Here's some on this particular portion. If you, if we looked at these, how many of these with a DNA biological sample might we find tissue and biological samples that are not identified with the species that we're aware of, or bits of even even heat sealed. Even if they were heat sealed, all this says heat melt low over and lines and patterns if there was DNA of any biological samples how many would we recognize or would it be of dinosaur era or would it be species that we don't even have any kind of record of even in a sealed fusion preserved would we be able to identify the structures interesting to think about because the impacts of asteroids could easily hit exposed relics and they could be from millions of years ago nothing current from other planets perhaps we could learn a lot about our own uh, history of the humans and how we progress to where we are considering the fact that so much misinformation was taken destroyed redistributed altered and fictionated over history to support power and mon monopolization it's real. It happened. There's a lot of missing information, a lot of altered information. There's bits of truth in all folklore that has been reconstructed into what is accepted as fact. But only through science and factual can we know for certain. Interesting to discover and to think about the actual realistic possibilities.